You ready? Once upon a time, there was a girl, a lovely little girl who lived in a tiny house with her mother and her father on the edge of a great dark forest. They lived near a lake by the woods and it was good. And they were happy. For a while, at least. But happiness can never last long. Not even in stories. And so darkness came for the family. One after another. Until only the little girl was left. Her father died in the deep, dark forest. And her mother fell ill with fever shortly after that. And only the child was left to tend to the animals and the farmland and try and make a new life for herself. And then men came hunters from a nearby village. And they saw that the little girl was all alone and yet they did not take pity on her. They did not take her into town and make her one of their own. They did not lead her to the church for safety or comfort, or love. No, they did not. Instead, they led her to the woods, this circle of men. And one by one, they had their way with her. One by one by one. And the men from the village left the little girl for dead in the deep dark woods. But she was not dead. Near death. But not at all dead. She lay frozen in the grass, covered in pain and dirt and bruises. Her body mangled and abused. Unable to move. Looking up at the sky. Hoping have even the strength to die. But she did not die. Not that day. And not ever. Instead, she was found by a passing family in the dark of night. A kindly father and his two young daughters and they saw her lying in the grass, smashed to pieces. And so they picked her up and carried her far and high to a castle in the mountains where they slowly nursed her back to health. Day by day, hour by hour, drop I drop. The little girl recovered with each passing week until she was better than before. Bigger, stronger, faster. Until one day, she was ready. 
ready to go back to where she came from, to that tiny house near the lake by the woods. And the young girl, now fully grown, having blossomed into such a beautiful young woman, returned with her new family to the village. And together, they hunted down those men who hurt her. One by one by one. Those men who shattered her body and broke her tiny heart. They coaxed them out into the woods and dragged them into dark, dark caves and tied them up. And then slowly, so slowly, they killed them and drained them of their blood. And the young girl and her two sisters finished off that town and that village and the next one and the next one after that until there were no more villages of men in the entire country. And then they left that place. They put that world behind them and they traveled far and wide year after year city after city, town after town, leaving a bloody swathe behind them that grew larger and larger and larger still until they came here to this place many, many years after they first began. And they bought many homes in which to hide in. Dark, brooding places they could sleep by day and feed by night, lurking in the shadows, luring men and boys into their lairs to toy with however long they wished. Toy with them. And then pull them apart slowly. piece by piece, limb by limb, one after another. And do you know what? They still do, to this day.